Welcome back everybody to another Moto Bob Vlogs video. We're at Superbike Factory today and I'm about to go out on a bike that I've been dying to ride ever since it came out, the Aprilia RS660. I haven't been able to get hold of one for some reason. They haven't had them as demo bikes in dealers because I think they've just been selling out and it's not been worth sending people on demo rides because uh, they didn't have any bikes to give to them. Whether that's the extreme demand because it's been super popular or whether that's the sort of recent supply chain issues over the last couple of years, I'm not sure. Probably a bit of the two, but it's definitely a bike that's got rave reviews. Plenty of awards it's won as well. And so, yeah, I've just been dying to get out on one. And finally, it's happening. And Superbike Factory have had a few in stock. I don't know if it's just that when we've got to winter, people tend to uh, sell on their sports bikes and maybe pick something else up for next year. But this is a 22 plate, about 350 miles on it, and it's less than eight and a half grand, which just seems like an absolute bargain for all the, you know, spec and features and amazing looks that you're getting. So hopefully this ride is every bit as good as I'd hoped. Right, let's have a little listen to it before we get on our way. Pretty standard sound for a parallel twin with a 270 crank. Nothing spectacular there, but I, I would suggest, um, you know, an aftermarket exhaust might add to the fun a little bit there. Oh my gosh, this fuel situation. It's on the light. Where's the nearest petrol station then? Wow, the first thing I've noticed straight away here is that the riding position is ridiculously comfortable for a sports bike. I tried out the Yamaha R7 recently and, um, you know, that's a direct competitor for this bike. It's a lot more simple, but price-wise and uh, in terms of sort of stature, I would say it is comparable at least. And even that bike, with a bit more simplicity, a bit lower in price, and you might therefore say a less complete sporting ability, you know, that's more focused than this. That's more over the front and straight away i know that i'd last longer on this bike if i was doing like a, a motorway ride or something you know i'm really quite surprised about it as well because it's often that manufacturers say oh we've built this sports bike but we want to make it usable we want to make it daily rideable we want to make it comfortable and then you know it never quite materializes in that way i'd say something like the triumph speed triple rr you know, that's a good example where they say it's predominantly a road bike that you can also ride on the track as well. I wouldn't say that's anywhere near as comfortable as this bike. Perhaps that would give you some limitations in terms of um, track riding if you wanted to do it. I mean, straight away, I was thinking, am I sitting with my bum really far forward? And that's why it feels so compact and short. Uh, but no, nah, not really. My bum's right at the back of the saddle here and you just don't have that stretched out like over the front feeling. So I'm riding it <laughs> correctly, uh, but still it just feels, yeah, really comfy. And also kind of expecting this bike to feel a little bit compact and small, like a 660. You might think, well, that's gonna be a little bike. And it is, you know, there's not a huge amount of reach from the seat to the bars, uh, but it doesn't feel cramped in any way at all and actually when it was in the uh, shop just getting it out just then it was next to an older um, rsv4 so a full size you know liter sports bike and next to each other honestly you wouldn't know a great deal of difference they really did look pretty similar in stature seven please <laughs> sorry i forgot to check thank you cheers Mmm, it's just gone into dynamic mode instead of commuter. I don't know what it is in commuter, to be honest. Where's the mode button, though? Oh, yeah, there's the mode. Commute, dynamic, individual. I love that it has a commute mode, though. Come on. That's when you know you've made it, where you buy an RS660 just to get to work. Let's go dynamic and see how it feels. Honestly, jumping back on it right now, I cannot believe how comfy this thing is. I pretty much rule out most sports bikes in terms of owning one because, I don't know, I don't do a lot of that sort of riding. Uh, you know, I mainly ride for work, to get to places, to cover stuff or pick up other bikes. I don't really do much track unless, you know, a manufacturer's invited me. And so it just seems like pointless to be crunched up on a sports bike on the motorway or something or, you know, pottering about. But I could get on board with this big time. Oh yeah, dynamic mode does bring 
A bit more fun to the party. Oh yeah, all right. There's a little bit of a surge right at the top of the revs there. Well, it starts to feel, you know, properly quick. I mean, it's 100 horsepower from this 659cc parallel twin. And I reckon that's right in the sweet spot. I've said this many times over in my videos that if you're just riding on the road, you know, something like the V4, the RS V4, it's a, you know, personal opinion this, but especially when you're recording yourself all the time and uploading it to YouTube with your name associated with it. Uh, I don't feel like there's a great deal of point of having a bike like that. But this 100 horsepower, you can still feel like, you know, you're actively pushing it a bit. Uh, but it's still fast enough that you don't think it's like underpowered or boring. I think it's a lovely balance of, yeah, fun, but not so silly that you're going to get yourself into trouble. Quick shifter works very nicely as well. Pretty much flawless, actually, this quick shifter. Okay. It's very nice and light, this bike as well. 183 kilograms curb weight. So full of all the appropriate liquids. And yeah, you can absolutely feel it on the road. It feels agile and precise and... <laughs> Lots of airbox noise, which is good. It's not particularly loud at the exhaust, as you will have heard at the beginning of the video, but when it gets up to sort of, what was that, six, 7,000 RPM and the throttle's fairly wide open, it does sound pretty good. As for the sort of chassis hardware, we've got KYB forks. I think it's a KYB shock as well. Both are just rebound and preload adjustable, but I don't think that's too bad given the price. And then Brembo brakes, again, not top notch like Stylemas or something. But yeah, loads of braking power, really, for a bike like this. Definitely not a, a bike where I'd say, you know, the brakes don't feel good enough for what it is. Tech-wise, it is a fairly small TFT dash, um, but you do get all the riding modes, wheelie control, traction control, ABS. They're lean sensitive because it's got a six axis IMU. Cruise control, the quick shifter I've mentioned. I think it has cornering lights as well, which obviously tie into that IMU. So yeah, pretty much loaded for this price point. You're not gonna get a lot more in terms of tech. And also it's not like it's a practical adventure bike where you want navigation and, you know, controlling your headset and all that stuff. I mean, this is a, a bike to be ridden and enjoyed and probably with just 100 horsepower most people are just going to switch a lot of that stuff off and then just enjoy the bike for what it is normally i 100 percent prefer the naked equivalent of a sports bike be that like the the speed triple i just mentioned with the um you know the rs being the naked flat barred version or the rr getting the clip-ons uh be that the envy Augusta lineup with the brutales and dragsters versus some of the triple equivalents like the super veloce or the the f3 even i did a back-to-back -back with the mta7 and the r7 and probably if i had to buy one even though the r7 was more fun I'd probably shoot for the MT-07 anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go and take a sit on the Two now. I think they've got one back at the showroom, but this is one of the few sports bikes where I thought, yeah, it doesn't really need it. It doesn't need the flat bars. Anyone can enjoy this. Oh my gosh, I want one of these. Yeah, fully expecting to enjoy it. Like I say, the reviews are really good, but it's that riding position that means that I could actually see myself owning something like this. I mean, let's just say it straight away, like straight up, hands down, no questions. Given that the R7 brand new is like nine grand now or something like that. If you can get one from Superbike Factory, one of these for eight and a half with 353 miles on it. Well, I've put a few on now, 366. And I dare say I'll do a couple more. Sorry, just a bit of camera admin there. Uh, yeah, versus the R7 for me, I would just buy this. I, I think it's a brilliant bike, the R7. Uh, and I totally get its appeal. Simple and fun, but for me, this just trounces it. And I haven't even really talked about the looks yet. I mean, what a beautiful bike, like pride of ownership. Something that you want to drool over when you open the garage. I mean, it's basically a baby RS V4 and there aren't many better looking bikes than that absolutely loved it thank you so much for watching 
plenty more vlogs coming up over the next few weeks. We've got the Diablo V4 Monster SP. I'm doing a first ride on that. The new Street Triple on the launch, the Transat we're doing, going out to Spain with BMW after that for the R1250R and the R1250RS, and then the day after that we're doing the S1000R on the track, and then the F900R, what's going on here, cut bike, and then the CL500, Honda, Scrambler, and in between we've got some other bikes coming, I think I've got the Z900RS SE in uh, March, so I've really wanted to ride that one since last year. It's basically going to be almost the ultimate retro. So lots of great bikes coming up on the channel, so do keep yourself tuned in. Let me know how you're all getting on, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one, where I should be in Dubai with the Diavel. So it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. And thank you for enabling it by watching my videos. Cheers!